canoe or that pole, and then you don't have to hold it. Hey, you're the boss. <laughs> two or three things. Mm -hmm. We are asking for a rerouting, but the rerouting that we're asking for is what we call the 2994 alternative. And what that really means is that even instead of entering Minnesota around Grand Forks, you go south on 29, so in case of any oil spill, it won't be able to cross the interstate as a berm into the Red River and go to Hudson Bay. And then when they get to Fargo, they have to have some kind of a more specialized, I guess, equipment cross the river and then it stays again in the right of way of uh, 94 all the way down to the Twin Cities. Okay. And that way, that way all the safety equipment can be positioned in places like St. Cloud and Alexandria and so forth. And then the people who are going to actually get the cheaper gas, they're going to be on 94. You can watch for the leaks. <laughs> you know? So you're, you're, you're rerouting, you're suggesting it would cross at Fargo and then follow the I-94 corridor? Right. And, right. And, and, then, then, and, then, and then if they, if they really want to go to Superior, that's a Wisconsin issue, mm -hmm. because all our issue is, is getting them across the state. Okay. And so I don't think that we have an obligation to deliver them through our wetlands and through our wild rice and everything else. And I don't, they don't have that right anymore. That's, it's like a line in the sand, a line in the water here. And my words exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and if, if, the, if you were able to convince them to go that route, it would cost them more money, but you feel that's, that's justified. The way I see it, there are a lot of people who are upset right now who are prepared for another fight and another fight. So we're looking also at a legislative reform. 